Hey designers, in this video tutorial I want to show you how to design a really cool uh, hero section with parallax effect in Figma. Be sure to check out the, my other videos about parallax effect, about parallax scrolling on uh, this uh, channel. And uh, don't forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that yet. Alright, so let's go designing. Uh, we're going to be using illustration uh, to demonstrate this. I got it from Shutterstock, so you can download any illustration that you want, or uh, you can uh, make an illustration by yourself, uh, draw it in Illustrator or Procreate, for example. The only important thing that you need to know and to understand that in this illustration you need to have layers. Now, that's the, the key part of any parallax effect. So, uh, in this download image, uh, you can see that I have uh, different layers. For example, I have these trees on the left and also I have these trees on the right. And I separated them by groups. So, I have uh, one group for the background, one group for the trees, and another group for the hills on the back and uh, for, this, um, for this house. I exported uh, all of these images uh, to PNG format, not SVG to PNG. That's because I figured out that when I use SVG in my prototype, it loads a lot of data and my uh, computer slows down a little bit and the prototype, um, you, don't, you don't see the uh, nice transitions. So it's basically, it's really slow. So I figured out that it's easier to, to use large format PNG, so I exported them in uh, X4. Uh, that's because we're going to be um, make uh, we're going to be enlarging the images and make them smaller in, inside our animation. So I recommend you to export them larger than the actual screen size that you're going to be uh, using. And you see that uh, I have these images ready in my Figma file. And now uh, I'll make a frame uh, for uh, my screen. So I choose frame and I'll make it 1440, 1440 by 800. As you can see, my images are much larger than my screen size. And that's because uh, we're going to be uh, using them inside of my frame and we're going to make them smaller and enlarge them at the beginning of our animation. All right, so first first thing that we need to do, we need to set up the, the final stage of the animation. So that's the final image, how the screen should look in the final stage of the animation. So basically I drop in all the assets that I have prepared. So I drop it like this and make it uh, exactly the, the width of the, my um, of my image, oh, of my screen size, and this one uh, should be on the right. This is the right tree. You see, I just renamed them so it's going to be easier for me uh, to use. So this one I make smaller also, and it should be 800 for the width, uh, for the height, I'm sorry. And I drop in these hills also to the back I move it to the back like this to the back of the main scene and I just want to make it smaller so I hold shift and move them around and this is right hill also holding shift make it smaller like this and move it to the back uh, it should be a little bit larger yep I think it's fine Okay, and the last thing is the sky. The sky also should be 800 for the height, but I want to place it right in the center of my hero section and I move it to the back. Now I need to move in all my assets that I'm going to be having inside of my hero section. That's going to be our navigation bar. I'll move it to the top and uh, this is our text main text and this is second text and also have a button so basically this is sort of like a uh, hero section for glamping website or glamping hotels website um, now what we need to do we need to add this text inside a of a frame so I press right click and I choose frame selection 
in here I need to use clip content for this frame and in a couple of minutes you'll see why and you see that when I selected clip content you see that um, it cuts the letter E at the, uh, at the end of the word so I need to make it a little bit larger like this and I'll put it right in the center of my frame the text and also I move the frame in the center of my image same thing here I need to make a frame selection for the text clip content and everything is okay here all right uh, let's just change a little bit the sizing please um, note that I don't I don't use um, outer layouts here because we don't need them and now I need to add a darker background so I just select rectangle and I add rectangle right here and I make it black and with about 40% opacity and I move it all the way behind my text and navigation bar. so this is the final stage of the animation that we're going to be having so this is where the animation ends and then the user already uh, plays with this interface okay let's make another stages of the animation and then we'll combine them together to make this cool effect what we need to do we need to copy this final stage and here we need to go to our text and now we move the text down in order to hide it inside of our frame. Uh, that's why we used the clip content yeah, to hide the text inside of our frame. Same thing we did or we do with the second text. And for the button, we just move it down. Move it down like this. And here I want to change the opacity and I change it to zero. All right. And now the last thing, I want to move my navigation on top. And that's it. The opacity is 100%. I want just to slowly move it down from the top. And now I make another copy. And here I just remove my dark background. I close the eye here. So I'm not deleting it. I'm just hiding it. And now I make another copy. And here I want to move the trees to the, the left tree to the left, of course and to go to hide it behind the uh, the edge of the frame. So I'm just moving it outside of the frame, but actually it's inside. The only thing that we have, we have clip content, so that's why we don't see it. And let's make another copy. And here I want to move my heels down. So I click on the left heel and I move it like this and maybe, you know, Maybe we can make it larger and move it down like this. And this one, uh, the right hill. Also, let's make it bigger and let's move it all the way over here like this. Maybe, you know, just a little bit diagonal. All right, now let's make a copy. And here we choose the main scene and hold option shift and just you know move it outside so make it really big and move it a little bit up so you see the building the house and it's gonna be over here like this really big one and maybe we'll move it to the center yeah i think that would be okay and now let's make another copy and here we'll play around with the sky and we want to make the sky really big and move it to the right, like this, so. Yeah, like this. And here we make another copy. Yep, and this is the end for our stages. Now we need to make a component set. I'm not gonna change the names of all of these frames. I'm just gonna select them and I'm going to be creating component set. That's it. We can rename the component. It's going to be our hero section, like so. And now we go to prototype mode. 
and on the first stage we're gonna be doing this thing we're gonna be connecting the first stage with the second one and here I want to choose not on click I want to choose mouse enter and then after that there's gonna be smart animation and we're gonna change the smart animate and we're gonna be leaving it at 300 milliseconds for the second stage I'm connecting with the third one and here I choose after delay after delay and I can remove 800 I put one oh I put one millisecond smart animation linear and here I'll use 800 milliseconds and now I connect this frame with the next one also after delay one millisecond linear smart made 800 milliseconds and this frame I connect with the next one and here I choose after delay one millisecond and here I oh I leave the same it's everything is okay and here I need to connect one more time after delay so I repeat everything basically I repeat everything and one more time after delay one millisecond and for the last one also same thing after delay one millisecond and that's it okay so now we make a copy i just hold option or alt and drag it over here so this is our um frame and we can actually make another frame uh, just to put uh, put this hero section inside so let's pretend that we're having a website uh, with the different uh, sections so I'm just gonna be dragging over here and that's it and let's make it 800 so and this is gonna be our demo why do I need the component that's because if I'm building a site probably I'm gonna be putting some stuff here you see and this is gonna be my hero section and it's gonna be separate so it's gonna be like a separate component so, but I hope you understand that um, so but for now I will make it smaller just the size of the animation all right so let's check it out guys uh, I select this frame and I click preview in prototype Okay, so this is a prototype, and when I move the mouse inside of my image, check out what's happening. The animation begins, we see this cool effect, and I hope you like them. Guys, I hope you like this video, and I hope it was useful for you. So good luck with the parallax effects, uh, and make your uh, hero sections of your websites interesting with the animations so that your clients will love them and don't forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that yet and i'll see you in the next one bye bye